Hello, uh, I hope everybody can hear me. Hi, Michelle. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Could you please turn off your camera during the meeting? Okay, thanks. Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, welcome everyone to the first community call of the year. Uh, I'm Carol Romero. I'm the product owner of the CDIM. I am also hosting uh, today's meeting. So uh, just before going through the agenda and explaining the session dynamics, uh, I'm going to give a brief context to put everyone on the same page. Uh, we have met today because as many of you know, uh, the Barcelona City Council launched a new contract in November to redesign the Decidim user interface and rethink the participant experience improving uh, the usability and the accessibility of the platform. And uh, also as many, uh, as you know, uh, we are not talking about a website redesign, but more of a framework uh, that allows to create and configure a website that can be deployed uh, in many ways and in very different contexts. And with already more than 400 uh, instances in production, so uh, we can say that we have an interesting challenge ahead. Uh, so the contract is 18 months long and was won by the company Populate, who is with us uh, today and with whom we have assembled a team to start working. And the idea is that the community can also participate with their input throughout this period in order to uh, contrast, to discuss, and to validate the different approaches uh, that we are considering to, to apply. And this is also why we open a process in MetaDecidim with a design manifesto, uh, with all the principles, principles we want to follow. Uh, you, can, you can check it out if you haven't done already. And there is also, we opened at first a general debate um, to identify and to prioritize uh, the main usability problems that the CDIM has. And one of the most mentioned aspects had to do with uh, navigation and the amount of clicks that we need to make in order to get to any content in the platform. We have also run some initial uh, user tests that also showed confusion about the navigation. So this is one of the elements that we have started working on. And this is what today's uh, session is about. So uh, if we take a look at the agenda, first we are going to see a presentation uh, by the Populate team of the first mockups and uh, of the menus and the navigation over the platform. And after that presentation, we have uh, the feedback from four uh, designers that we have invited so they can give us the input uh, from their expertise in the field. I will introduce them later. And after that, uh, we will split into smaller groups in different rooms just for the sake of the conversation so that everyone has the opportunity to give their impression and finally, we will all meet again uh, in this room to share uh, that feedback. And uh, another member of the CDIM team, Neil, will be closing uh, the session. Okay, so uh, enough from me. Uh, I'm going to welcome Alvaro and Robert from Populate uh, to the stage. And uh, before they start, I just want to uh, acknowledge the work that they are already doing, because uh, regardless the proposal we are about to see, uh, the truth is that the attention to details and the motivation they are putting in this whole process uh, is something that I personally appreciate very much. So thank you guys for, for joining us in today's meeting and whenever you want to start with the presentation. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, thank you, Carol, for your uh, nice words. Uh, and now Roberto will proceed with, with the presentation, who is the, the lead designer for, for this project.
Your water, you are muted, maybe. You have to share your mic. We have just uh, tested this setup just uh, before entering the meeting, but these things happen. Now. Hi, Robert. Uh, we recommend you. Ah, you did it. You did so. <laughs> to just log in again. Yes. So maybe I can, should I do it or? Roberto? Let's uh, try one. Last time, if not, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Sorry for the wait. Hola. No. Yes, we hear you. Oh. Okay. Sorry for the delay. Yes. Okay, I think it's, it's all okay, right? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Well, well we are going to, to show you the, the prototype that that uh, the product uh, shared before Christmas in, in the in meta deciding site, okay? I understand that all all of you are familiar, uh, a bit familiar with with it, but we are going through through the pages and and show you the the work that, that we are we are done. Okay. Um, this is only about header and navigation and, and footer footer uh, too. Okay, with with this with this footer navigation. But uh, the whole process uh, have a, 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 a diagnosis that, that previously we are we are done with with these uh, three main main phases main main items okay to 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 design a a, a good a good project okay that reduction and simplification okay. Um, and within that, that now the number of elements and shapes uh, are are very high. Uh, the prioritization and, and organization of, of of information. Okay, that uh, within that um, right now there are many levels of of information that are um, quite overwhelmed. And standardization of the product sizes, number of, of shapes. Okay, this is the the work that uh, we are doing right now. And in this meeting, we are we are going to show you the header and navigation process. Okay, Alvaro, if you want to talk, feel free. Okay. Um, the actual situation is this. Okay. Uh, right now, in 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 any instance of the sitting, 
uh, out of the box. We have many elements with, with, have, with high visual weight, uh, lack of hierarchy, multiple navigations, and multiple call to actions. Okay. Um, these things uh, made that mm, the mm, information in, in the top of the of the page uh, is is very high and, and is is hard to focus in in one action in one call to action. Uh, even find uh, information in in all these in all these items. Okay. So. Uh, Taking this as as a as a fair approach, we are doing we are doing some some designs that that we are going to we are going to show you. Okay, they are based in these uh, five main features. Okay, contextual navigation. Okay, to 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 limit overlapping navigations, uh, we are we are created a risky navigation menu uh, based on. Of on, on a breadcrumb, okay. The the breadcrumb that that we are used to 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 see in in, in web pages, we are we are treat uh, this breadcrumb in a different way. We are show you right right now, okay. Uh, this contextual navigation uh, gives us a greater visual hierarchy. Okay, we are we have few few elements uh, and the header of the site um, contains only four items if you're not logged, uh, three items if you are if you are logged in. Okay. Um, the activity and iteration between users. Uh, we want to to see more interaction and more activity, more prominence for for this activity and participation. Okay, uh, so the the access to to these sections uh, are uh, on the first level of navigation, and a menu builder that uh, uh, will be developed and will 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 let us to uh, customize uh, uh, the the items of the of the menu in the home page okay because in the home page this breadcrumb does not apply um, the last feature is personalization okay in addition to the logo and, and the two main colors that right now the cd uh, led the 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 instance to to choose uh, we are we are uh, uh, create a different roundness quote level to to see how how the site uh, take the right personality okay it's, it's a very very simple change that uh, visually change all okay as you can see here in the in the interactive prototype okay uh, first of all desktop the home page header with the main navigation, okay. As as I said before, uh, this this menu is a usual menu that that we we can construe it with the with the menu builder, okay, and customize with the with the items that that we consider necessary, okay. Uh, changing the names, uh, put more more or less items, etc. Okay. And uh, as I said before, too, the events and activity links are in in here. Okay. Uh, the space navigation takes uh, the breadcrumb navigation as as a main navigation. Okay, and the breadcrumb and the two principal actions that we can do uh, depending on the phase of the project and the page in where we are. Okay, in this case, uh, this is a, a, a process where you can uh, you can do new proposals or follow this this process. Okay, in this contextual navigation that uh, right now is only a only a breadcrumb uh, that they allow to to position uh, ourselves and navigate. Okay, in the current hierarchy. Uh, this is the the main page of that space. This is the uh, local 
um, navigation inside the space with with a, a level inside. Okay, in this case, with propose inside the the the, the process. Okay, uh, the interaction of this navigation. Uh, um, if I uh, do hover uh, in the in the in the home element, okay. We have a global navigation panel that uh, show us the main navigation of all the site, uh, as well as the modules that that we that we can that we can put with information uh, in processes that have uh, that has uh, relevance, activity of the users, etc. Okay. If we hover. Uh, in the in the name of the process it, of the page, okay, we have the space na navigation panel that show us the local navigation inside this this space and information uh, regarding this this space in, in concrete. Okay, um, in mobile we have something something different, a bit different. Okay. With the main menu fixed at the bottom of the of the page and the hamburger menu that uh, show us the main site navigation. Okay, this this site navigation is this site navigation. Okay, and for the mobile space navigation, the mechanism is is this. Okay, this is our breadcrumb when when we may click. Uh, the local the local space navigation opens and show us the the different items of the local navigation inside this this process. And finally, we have the footer, okay, with all the items uh, for for the main navigation of the site, uh, the, this global navigation, along the secondary links, uh, social media links, and the language selector okay with a common folder to uh, to the city and that's all I, I don't know if i'm going too fast but this is all we have Uh, okay. Sorry, my, my camera goes a little bit slowly. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, thank you both for the presentation. Um, I honestly think we are onto something here, but I don't want to condition uh, anyone to, to give feedback. So um, I'm going to welcome now uh, to our four expert designers, all women, by the way, uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, given the gender gap that we usually have in the CDIN. So let, let me introduce them in order of intervention. And if you, uh, if you want to turn your camera on, uh, as I mentioned you. So first we have with us Laura Vidal. She's a designer, engineer, and founder of Atelier Gelb, which is a studio specialized in UI UX design for digital products and we are very happy because we are working with her right now uh, on the redesign of the decidim.org website. Welcome, Laura. Uh, then we have uh, Stiliana Mitzeva. Uh, she's a freelance illustrator and graphic designer based in Barcelona and she is currently working on the redesign of the Cidim Barcelona. Welcome, Stiliana. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we also have Nadia Nadesan. She is a freelance writer, researcher, and digital engagement coordinator. And she works uh, currently at UX and product research at Platonic. Welcome, Nadia. And finally, uh, we have Anna, Pilo, Anna Pina. Sorry, uh, she's a UX writer and content writer from Prodigioso Volcan. Welcome, Anna. So uh, 
Laura, if you want to shoot first with your analysis. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for having me today. Um, I wanted to say, first of all, I think uh, the Populate people have done great uh, work. And I can imagine one of the challenges being allowing for so much customization. Um, but it's my assumption, but uh, since there are so many instances with so many colors and, and so on, I guess that was a tricky part. So yeah, kudos for that. Um, I have a few questions. I think in general, it's it's really a good idea to simplify the navigation. And I, th I, I found really nice uh, things, for example, the content is pretty much same as currently, but more compact, but still not uh, crowded. Um, and I also liked very much that the hierarchy is much clearer now than when you go into a DSDM site at the moment and, and try to navigate through the um, proposals and, and processes and so on. It gets a bit, uh, maybe you get lost in your mind a little bit. And I think here you can see much clearer uh, the structure where you are where you are. Um, I also find very smart the way of showing the two call to actions or the, yeah, the, the main two actions, because at the moment they are a bit hidden or, well, not hidden, they are a bit buttons, but uh, further down the page and here it's really clear. So I think that could uh, help people participate more than, or make it easy for them to participate. Um, so I, I have some questions, for example, uh, I'm not sure if you are thinking of keeping the language selector only on the bottom page or also on the header. And if you're only keeping it on the bottom page, uh, on the bottom of the page, are there ways of um, like knowing which, detecting the user language so that you can adjust to their preferences or what's what's the plan there. Um, I have to say, I found this issue exactly the same with uh, the redesign of the website and I ended up duplicating it. So maybe we inspire each other today, I don't know. Um, then I wanted to ask what happens if you hover or if you click on processor. So the first item of, of the breadcrumb would you see there the, the other first level navigation items or how, or would they only be on the little home icon? Um, I do have some more questions. Um, on the, then on the mobile page, um, there I'm not so sure if, if the four, like I, I find the pattern of navigation in the footer really smart usually, like not hiding things, but uh, exposing them. I'm not so sure if these items are so relevant throughout the whole page so that they should always be visible. I don't know. Um, and then one more thing, but that's, that's a, a tiny thing, I think, um, on, also on the mobile nav uh, navigation or sub navigation in this case, somehow to me it feels a bit disconnected at the moment when you unfold the navigation. Uh, on the main header, I saw that it had the purple background and, and white text. And here it's um, white, uh, blue links over white um, background. And I was wondering if that's a, a particular example of this page or if it would, would be matching the same behavior as the header navigation or, um, I just didn't understand if there's a, a pattern there. And same, uh, likewise, when, when it's the rounded corners, I also found a little bit of a disconnect between the menu toggler and the content of the menu. Um, but in terms of hierarchy and, and like the idea of, of using these breadcrumbs, I think it's really smart and that's my feedback for now. Thank you. Sorry, my fault. Uh, thanks, Laura. Uh, maybe if you guys note down the questions and then we have like a final round. So uh, if you want to go on, Stiliana, with your feedback. Hello. Uh, so uh, great work first. And uh, it's very complex, but we have to make it so simple. So that's really not easy task. 
Um, I found a very nice solution um, of the footer that now we have really a good overview, overview where uh, what are the structure of the web page. So even when you begin with a very new art of structure with uh, breadcrumb, so at the end you can uh, find yourself again in, in a, um, another structure way. That's uh, and a good solution. And then I find very nice uh, the option to use more icons, um, for example, for the um, uh, on the top on the right where is registration. So working in general with more icons, I think that helps to um, have the feeling what you can, what kind of action you can make now. So I find that's a good um, advantage. Um, I have question about the structure of the main uh, of the menu. For example, when you're when you have the home, then process, then you have some project. I don't know how deep you can go in this project, but we we have a limited uh, space. So in case we have a project that have a very long name, so how that could work. Uh, if we have um, about the space, if it's going in two lines, uh, I'm thinking about this uh, color, uh, la barra <laughs> uh, of the menu. And um, so, and in one um, meeting uh, before, we, there was kind of idea how it would be for um, a user that coming for first time on the web page that have one kind of experience, and for the user that are regular, then they don't need to uh, pass all um, steps of the presentation. What is the project about? And I. I find it's a good solution that with the breadcrumb that you can, if you don't know exactly oh, the first time and you're not familiar with the project, you have the option to have a small overview and you can enter uh, deeper. And then if you're a user that already knows the project and you want to enter just to, um, to act and to participate, um, you have already the structure ready to to action. So, and I give the word for the next one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you, Stiliana. Uh, let's go now with uh, Nadia. <laughs> Hi, yeah, no, so I really appreciated the new um, proposal for the menu. I do like the use of icons to make things simpler and being able to retrace your steps. I actually had this conversation a couple days ago with a project that's using the CVM about how it's easy to get lost. And then when you get lost, it's hard to use and then access the function and appreciate the value, right? But um, I do like, I would like to see maybe what it would look like for the custom menu builder. And um, for example, I was really curious about um, going past the navigation bar because when you collapse these, you collapse the, the homepage for a process. So you have in the old version, you had the old navigation bar and then a uh, banner and then the navigation bar below. And I was interested to see how that might look and also how the breadcrumbs will apply to searching and finding processes because just as difficult as it is to go back, it's also hard to go forward. So because currently when you have, when you click on process, you get highlighted process and then you have to scroll all the way bottom to filter through what you want to do. And so I am curious about those two things. Um, and I would really appreciate, I was a bit confused going through this Figma mockup, but I, I, I get the gist of it, but it would be nice to 
um, be able to through and test and see if it's if I would to just make sure the clarity of the user journey while using it is the same as what I'm imagining. But um, yeah, and I, I look forward to seeing how the interpreting user interaction um, on the platform will be designed because I also have to do the same thing. And, um, and yeah, so my comments are more just um, about being curious about what this means for the process, because when I think about getting lost on the CDM and guiding users, it's more how to go forward. And then with this process of using breadcrumbs to trace your steps seems very useful and interesting to start like creating a stronger visual hierarchy for the platform. Thanks, uh, Nadia. Um, we are finishing with um, Anna. Hi, hello. Um, <clears throat> well, so as my colleague said, just uh, congrats. I would like to to commend the efforts and this this proposal. Um, I'm I'm part of um, the Comunicación Clara team in in Prodigioso Volcán, as Carol said, and um, I would like to say that, um, like. Comunicación Clara is not only about good test, but also about uh, it requires good design as well as structure and navigation. And regarding to this structure, um, content strategy is very, very related. I think that you follow the same the same method, but um, the uh, content strategy should uh, place and locate the user in the center. So you have first to think about them. And I think that's what you've done, just because you you mentioned before that you received many complaints because the navigation was very, uh, very complex and they got lost. So I think you have just like um, stopped and see what you what you had all the content then reorganizing and restructuring all the all the elements and and order every element by its its by its relevance and 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 based on this then then you then it comes the rest right so i think i i really um i really would like to to comment this 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 lack also this this lack of uh, decorative elements uh, because this this lack of um, noise you know because I think sometimes um, these the elements that they are decorative but they are useless um, they interrupt disrupt the, the navigation and I think your web page is very clean and and, and very simple which I think is uh, is is very cool. Um, also, I've I've uh, not down few things. Mm, yeah, well, as you said at the beginning, that the menu, that the words are personalized, that you could change the words. Um, it's something that I looked at a lot. That the meaning of the words, the, the words should be intuitive, right? The micro copies and all the titles and subtitles, and 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 users should should know um, before clicking the button what is going what is going next. So I was wondering if if the 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 words on the menu, if I mean if if you can personalize the words, that's all right. But I was wondering if maybe. Um, process initiatives and inquiries maybe it's not too similar in to have both the same i mean those three words in the same menu maybe users might be a bit confusing about those three words because it, in my opinion they are a bit um too too similar to each other but i think the only way the only way to know is with the, with the test really i mean nobody has the 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 answer not like the perfect uh, the answer also i i've uh, i would like to point out that in the mobile per version um in um the icons which i really i i, I really like them i think they're very useful but i've realized that in the mobile version they come without text um while in in desktop 
they they come with with um with text i i don't know it just comes to my mind that maybe someone who who used this this uh web page just with the mobile phone maybe at the beginning uh doesn't know exactly what they mean i mean maybe they are kind of intuitive intuitive those ones at the beginning because also i've seen the other one the um um meeting the meeting one which uh, is uh, like three three like three bubbles like three circles and it might be less intuitive but also and i don't know i just point out this that maybe it would be a good idea to to come with with text you know it's it's just it helps just like easy you know what why to why to wonder what they mean if if you can just write it down and um I don't know. I think that's that's it. Uh, really, the 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 bread the bread uh, menu. I think is a very good idea because also it's very accessible and and I think it's 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 cool and it's useful and it's clear. And well, I think this that's it. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Anna, and thank you all for your interesting questions and and pertinent remarks that really help us also uh, uh, to the product team to, to uh, help open our perspective and take into account maybe some angles that we didn't consider. Uh, so I don't know if you, Robert and Alvaro, want to answer some of the questions or to comment or on any remarks. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll begin with with the last with with Anna. Okay, uh, we already have a, a, a text and icon version. Okay, <laughs> this evolves every minute, so so maybe this this, this is the the best Construir approach to the to the to the fixing menu. So uh, um, that work is is done. It's already done. Okay. Uh, Laura, um, the language uh, switcher on the food. Okay, uh, we think that uh, you are not you are not changing the, the language of the, of the page every five minutes. Okay, you, you know, usually you, you enter and the, the page recognize your your browser language and so on. you are not changing. No? So mm, it's a secondary element, and, and we think that in, in this mega footer, okay. Where, where you eh, have all, all the navigation, que, que all, the, all the all the links, all the social media, etc. It's a good it's a good place to to put this this switcher, this this selector, and mm, don't waste space in the in the main in the main header. Okay. Yeah, and also taking into account that uh, uh, as I well, think well, you. Well, you commented uh, no. that uh, the system uh, checks your browser language, so it should. Yo creo que con show eso vamos concluyendo, ¿vale? La dejo con la tarea de instalar esa development app. Okay. A las eh, about y este, uh, Laura's question. Y por Laura's favor, question si about uh, what happens if I click in, si in the intermediate items of the of the of the breadcrumb. The idea is that this take me to the processes uh, list. Okay. And this link uh, take me to the uh, vale, proposals vale, uh, list vale, okay. bien, with the interaction of over no, hombre, in the, a ustedes, the name, y ahí of, the, para the name of the space okay, is processed and in, in, the, in the home. <laughs> Disfruta tu okay. día, que nosotros estamos de noche. Yeah, also just to give a uh, 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 quick answer to some of the things that are uh, um, being talked about in the chat um, and also some general remarks. The idea is that uh, we saw just one one uh, menu level at a time, the global one if you are in a global section as a home or as a main section. Uh, it is yet to be uh, decided because uh, I think Virgil uh, commented about the complexity of the options of the main menu, pros, which is assemblies and so on. This is something that is yet a work in progress and that we are talking uh, a lot uh, in the product team to to see uh, because I think we all know that those uh, options are complex for new users 
So we are we don't have like a, a, our best answer to solve that problem. So we are working on that, and we'll and maybe that can get fixed uh, with a custom many builders. So you can customize the items you you want to put there and so on. And then the idea is that when you go into a space a process, for example, that menu that menu uh, is not shown and is what is shown is the breadcrumb. So this concept of a breadcrumb that on hover shows all this that we are seeing on the screen is like a, a strange thing at first, but we'd like to think that we are providing like a non-destructive uh, way of interaction in the sense that the, the element that we are showing at first is the breadcrumb, which is a perfectly acceptable uh, user interface item. Uh, all users have the mental model of the of the breadcrumb of a breadcrumb, so that should not be a problem. And your probably interaction is when when you want to browse uh, back and forth, and you uh, are going to click on an element of the breadcrumb. What is going to happen is that you are going to get shown all this uh, mega banner, uh, hover navigation. We have to decide on a name for this element. And then you are intuitively discover how this new behavior that we are kind of inventing uh, works. No? So we are providing like a safe default uh, regarding the user mental model element, which is the breadcrumb. And then we are providing this which is not a classic or uh, established mental model, but our guess, this will have to be tested with real uh, users, real fire, is that uh, this behavior will be quickly understand. And from there, I, we think uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility and lots of possibility to browse uh, back and forth. Sorry for the, the remarks. Roberto, you have any more answers for? Yeah, uh, still in a uh, question about uh, how deep we can we can go in the in the breadcrumb, right? Um, I think uh, maybe I, I I'm wrong, but uh, we only have four four levels of of deep of deepness, no? Or maybe I maybe I'm wrong, eh? but if if in the case that the process uh, name is uh, very long, okay, we can truncate with with ellipses the the name, and we and we always respect the space of the of the bar, okay. Um, Nadia, as uh, word about the custom menu builder, okay. Um, I think that that Alvaro answered that question yet is is uh, and, and Anna too, okay. It's as simple as as, as let the let the admin uh, choose what elements and how they are named in the in the in the menu that that is in in the home in the home page, okay. Because right now you you can only put uh, the the spaces that already exist. You can you can change that name. Um, maybe maybe it's, it's a little confu confusing, no? Uh, that that kind of name of what is a process, what is a, an assembly, a voting, consult, okay, consultation. So the menu will let you uh, change this 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 behavior and let put the the elements that you that you want naming then that you want. Okay. And um, I think I that's all. I don't I think see if if there is any any question. No, no more questions. Okay, so uh, thank you all both uh, to Populate for presenting the proposal and also to our guests for contributing with uh, valuable feedback. As you all mentioned,
mentioned, this is a work in progress. This is uh, one hypothesis. Uh, we find important just to stand with the community if we are uh, going in the right direction. But in the end, who will decide which is the best design will be the final participants. And, and we'll need to find out with the user test. Right, so um, thank you again. Uh, now we are going to um, to have our listen to the rest of the members and we will split in different groups uh, just to have a quick round of feedback. And maybe someone else from the Decidim team can explain how, uh, how are we going to do that because uh, I'm a little bit lost right now. I don't know if Angela or Neil can explain um, if we are going automatically included in the room. Hi, Hi. we are now organizing like uh, three rooms. Uh, we are going to have in each room one person from the from the product team from Decidim and uh, and then we are going to be like uh, organizing randomly by the platform from in, in these three rooms. We have 30 minutes for working. Uh, and after that, each group will present uh, what they've been deba um, debating and populate will have some time if they want to answer back. I think like that now, Neil. And we are doing it now. Okay, so please, it will be great that you please uh, take on account that we are going to meet back in four at, at five twenty okay great thanks Now. Hello, everyone. Well, I'm not sure if I lost the notes from our room. Neil, please say that we had no uh, i just want about to to make copy paste and it, it just disappeared uh i don't have time to to do the copy paste but i don't know <laughs> if we can oh recover I, I don't know i, I don't know okay I, i'm seeing we are not the 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 only ones uh, with this kind of problem so <laughs> this is something to to improve with click blue button. Yes. Yeah, so I, I think that everybody is... Oh, I was quite proud of my notes. <laughs> yeah, everybody is here in the main room, I think. So so we can start to to share uh, like conclusion of the conclusions of, of each uh, groups. I don't know if uh, every group has chosen a, a representant or, or whatever, but yeah, maybe my group could could start. I don't know. <laughs> maybe Carol without the yeah, note. Yeah, maybe but... I can start before I forget <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just going to explain the the conclusions uh, from memory. Please, guys, help me. 
if I forget anything important. Uh, okay, so just for everyone to uh, picture our group, it was mostly formed by the Populate team, uh, two people from product and uh, Nadia and uh, Laura, uh, two of our guests. And we have like three community members, maybe uh, I can recall, uh, Ero, Torben and Javier. They are quite new to the community. So the overall feedback uh, has been more like, okay, this looks good. Uh, this is, uh, they are also approaching to the, to the project, to the community for the first time. So they don't have like strong opinions on the current design. Uh, but there were some comments about, for example, about uh, Nadia was, um, was asking how, uh, how many actions would be ideal uh, to deal with at the same time? Because uh, she was saying uh, how a participant uh, finds out in a certain process which options are available to interact with that process. If, if I have to fill in a survey or if I have to make proposals and sometimes um, having simultaneous actions might have sense and sometimes not. So with regards to the menu systems, we were talking about the possibility to hide some items for certain, uh, I don't know, for certain uh, projects or instances. This one, this was one of the points. And uh, the other one was regarding the differences that Laura spotted uh, between the mobile and the desktop uh, interface regarding to the menu. When the menu is unfolded, the, the background color uh, changes. So this is something that we simply uh, haven't worked uh, uh, in deep and, and we, we took notes to, to take it into account. Mm, another important point, I, I recall something regarding to the breadcrumbs menu. Uh, overall, the, the, the feeling was uh, people like it, but I don't know if some of you can help me to complete this feedback. <laughs> Sorry, I was just uh, relying on my notes. Maybe I can, I can leave it here. Okay, so if, uh, if anybody wants to add anything to uh, from the Carol group, uh, we can now go to your group, Arnau. Uh, maybe you can do the conclusions or... Okay, anyway. yes, I, I just uh, paste our notes here uh, just to have you and I'll, tr I'll try to keep on my notes too. Uh, but yes, yeah, some some interesting and really helpful contributions from the the people of our group. Anthony from Switzerland was uh, wants to know about the, the the calendar of implementation in order to know uh, when we uh, finish to work the part of front end when we address the, the administration panel and what happens with the question like for example newsletters and. Uh, because they won't also invest. Maybe Anthony, after that, you can you can just uh, specify specify a little more about this. But the idea was like to know about the uh, the exactly calendar and also how we can coordinate with uh, with the product team uh, the different contributions and that they want to do. Uh, Bijil also was asking about the, the design process and we, if we had driven uh, user tests and I explained the, the, the tests that Populate Tools have been doing and some of the, the, the main results of, of that. I, I, maybe we can, we can see how we can share the results of the, of, of the user tests with the whole community. And also, and we have been discussing that on, on the product team. Uh, and during the whole process of redesign, we were thinking on how 
uh, we can involve uh, the rest of the community to also drive user tests because we know that we are doing this test now here in the city in that Barcelona, but uh, we know that the contexts are very different and maybe we could receive uh, really some feedback uh, from other uh, uh, institutions and organizations and cities uh, to see uh, what is happening. And, and from here, we, we do this call, and if someone wants to drive user tests in their own organizations, uh, it definitely will help a lot. Uh, what else? Um, yes, Anti was, I, I, I explained an important thing because it was on the, on the chat before, and this is related on the solution of what happened with the secondary menu, menu of a participatory space uh, because it's a, a lot of people is doing this question and we initially have uh, this menu hidden on the on this breadcrumb and, and it, it is shown when we have the, the hover but also we are redesigning but the, we cannot show that yet but we are redesigning the uh, uh, a participatory space a space, for example, uh, the, 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 the page of a specific process in the same way that we are doing on the on the home page with different blocks and you uh, you have like different available blocks uh, and you decide which blocks you put in your home in your secondary home of a specific uh, participatory process and uh, one of these blocks we, uh, will be a way to reinforce the, this menu if you want to put it. For example, if you are having a lot of elements in your participatory process, for example, if you have proposals and participatory budgeting and, and debates and meetings, if you, you have a lot of items, you could have a, a, a specific blog giving you a, a summary of what is happening inside your, your process. But uh, you would decide if you want to show or not. This is an important thing, and probably we will show this this specific thing in a in a few weeks. But it is a, a complementary information that you have to know in order to know that this is not a, just a hidden menu. We could uh, reinforce from other uh, from other approaches how uh, how improve the navigation. Uh, after that, Antti was asking about the, the need, uh, Alvaro just pointed out before, but the need to have this customization of the different items of the menu. It's important to customize the, the things that you put on the main menu as a possible solution. If, I mean, that you could decide which elements you put or not on the main menu and the naming that you put on each specific uh, model. We have like other non-official models doing that, like the customizer and and the CD are awesome, but the the ideas to would be to put that on the on the configura configuration. And he also was worried about the, the question of accessibility in the in the hover. Uh, definitely we need to check if this is uh, full accessible for everyone and this is an important an important warning to check and also how works the the this uh this this menu on the on the tablet format not for phones and not for desktop how it works with, with the tablet and also uh Antti was worried about to put the, the language selector on the on the on the footer uh he says that maybe it's more important to put on the on the on the top of the web and we're gonna to uh re rediscuss this because an important point and also after that uh virgil was um was asking about the the the, the secondary menu uh when you are uh seeing the different
options that you have on that when you have the hover on the secondary menu uh, and you have the information on your on your right if this is related but i think that this is something that we modified just today but uh, if the item the different items on the menu is referring to the information that you have on the right side or uh, they are like items that goes to other pages. Uh, just to answer this, uh, we decide to put the, the, the menu in on the right side and the information on the left side in order to not to not not generate confusion confusion between these, these aspects because the the right information is not referring to the different items of the menu. The, the menu is independent, and I think that we this is all that we discuss. Thank you very much to all the people of the group that have been participating in that. Okay, so if somebody from the last group uh, would join us um, to share the conclusions. De tal manera que se van generando una especie de burbujas de personas muy cool y personas que están destinadas a no tener ningún tipo de... Andrés, maybe. Somebody. Investigador del IM3, un instituto de investigación de la UOC. Yeah, go ahead, y en la sesión de, de hoy lo que vamos a trabajar básicamente es explicando los proyectos que estamos desarrollando, que es el Decidim, una plataforma de participación o plataforma digital de participación pensada uh, para articular procesos democráticos. Uh, Andres and Pauline write down all information with the help of the other participants. Um, in general, the breadcrumb are uh, seen a, as a very good idea. There are some kind of doubts about it, of um, about the behavior of, of the, ho um, the hover of the breadcrumb. That sometimes you have a soup menu on the hover and sometimes not. So um, it will be nice to make more tests to see how it's working. And what happens when a space doesn't have uh, space doesn't have any component? For instance, um, I'm reading now through because since I didn't know that I have to explain it, um, it's more easier if I read it through. Uh, so what happens when a space doesn't have any component? For instance, an uh, assembly with only soup assemblies, how their, be, um, their brain cup would behave. And the new proposal button is the idea to have it customized in that mean uh, as it now or would be also in the process homepage. Uh, in uh, the component order, it's important to have uh, this feature as an administrator to be able to, uh, to sort the component. And about the header, um, there are about uh, doubts about um, the user profile of the Elements, technologies, and society, and how it's transforming the forms of participation and democracy in the digital era. I diem la taula de, de valors i economies de la cultura. El que intenta obrir és un debat entorn precisament a quins són els models emergents que existeixen diem, en aquest nou model de, de societat, no? per una banda societat. Jo destacaria alguns elements. No? Primer de tot que la crisi econòmica no només posa de manifest el problema diem, de actius. Quines són les contribucions que fa... Diem, if the person don't know um, about what this process initiates, etc., or if you're a new user, and would we add another help section, taking care that it doesn't pollute uh, the page too much? And the last, it'd be nice to reserve some space in the header menu to add a support chat. So that, that are the notes of the group. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Siliana. Uh, to sum up, so if uh, anybody wants to, to add anything to, 
Estiliana, uh, we we are going to to close the session. Uh, first of all, uh, maybe somebody from the Populate team wants to add something, uh, or or not. <laughs> if not, uh, we are we are going to to close the session. Uh, so thank you everybody to to come and join us today. Um, uh, and so we take note of all that has been said today and, and yes, and we, we will keep uh, going the, the discussion in MetaCDM. We just uh, gracias a todas y a todos por venir uh, y gracias por venir a este process laboratorio. To, Acción uh, es una plataforma digital que permite articular uh, procesos yes, democráticos. So, so we are now in the beginning ¿vale? Entonces, of this process, nosotros nos gusta pensar el decidim como to do. Uh, in the following days, we will open uh, a new debate on meta decidim and we will share more uh, prototypes with the with the community. And just mm, to let you know that uh, the next community meeting focused on redesign will be maybe around by the by the end of March and and as we have done for this occasion we will share pues, with you a la mejora de la nuestra democracia meeting, también se han tenido ya no esos perversos no que han ido a matar es decir construimos en CDM so so that's all uh, maybe some one of the product team wants to to add something Uh, but thanks to Populate, thanks to Laura, Celiana, Nadia, and Dana, and also thanks to all the community, and see you in the in the next section. And if you would uh, to switch on your camera, maybe we can just take a picture and to see all our faces and and say goodbye to to each other. Okay. So thank you, and and also say welcome to the new members of the community that today join us. That I think that we have two or three new members. <laughs> also welcome, and yes. Thank you, everyone. See you the next meeting, <laughs> and follow the process and the democracy. <laughs> Comme le disait Antonio.